All right, what's going on guys? It's been a while since the last video. I uh, hope you guys are doing well. Honestly, the start of this year has been kind of crazy for me uh, outside of YouTube, right? And uh, it's been very difficult to stay on top of all the new content. Obviously still trying to make videos as much as possible whenever I do get a chance. And uh, for those of you that have been staying patient and continuing to support the channel, I really, really appreciate you guys. Anyways, with that said, in this video, we are going to be taking on the new-ish uh, Gamma 1 and Gamma 2 stage for the Red Ribbon Army Red Zone. And uh, yeah, let's jump in here. Here is a quick look at the team. We got the uh, superhero team led by the Double Piccolos, as well as the Fizz Gohan, uh, the AGL Blue Gogeta, uh, SDR Piccolo, LR, uh, God Boys, God Goku, and God Vegeta, and finally the Int Pan for some support. And uh, obviously the item is a Whis, as always. So here we go. Let's jump in and uh, take on the Gammas. I believe there are three stages in total. We're facing Gamma 2 first, and then it's going to be Gamma 1 by himself. And then we have Gamma 1 and Gamma 2 together. Okay, so first station, we have Piccolo and uh, Gogeta. So I think I will float the Pan because her defense is not the best, but she does get dodges sometimes. So yeah, she's going to be a good floater. Uh, let's just leave Piccolo in the first slot. I think eventually I might do a Gogeta and uh, LR God boys rotation, but I'm not sure. I do also want to keep a Piccolo in each rotation. So it might, might make more sense to just have Piccolo and Gogeta and then uh, the two Piccolos, of course, on the other rotation. We'll see how things go. We'll see how things go. Obviously, I'm not going to be popping the Piccolo active skill until probably the last phase because uh, I'm guessing that's going to be when the Gammas are the hardest and having two back-to-back -back Piccolo transformations will most likely get the job done. Okay, what is up with Gogeta's dodging, man? Because this man, I believe, has a 50% chance to dodge, right? And he almost never dodges. He almost never dodges. So, that's a bit of a problem. That's a bit of a problem. We just took 200k there that we didn't need to take. Um, of course, I'm not going to be using any items until at least the second phase, most likely the third phase. So, yeah, Gogeta needs to step it up, man. I mean, he's awesome. Don't get me wrong. Gogeta is amazing. This EZA is one of the best EZAs, maybe the best EZA in the game right now, but I'm going to need him to dodge for me. Okay, I can't be taking those hits, especially if it was a super. I think we would have died, honestly if uh, he had taken a super there, so... Yeah, Gogeta, come on. Step it up, man. Pull your weight. Okay. So, um, one mini issue is that we need the god Goku and Vegeta to also get supers off, because, of course, they need to build their defense, because right now they're not very tanky, right? So... Um, I think, actually, we might have to float Piccolo. Um, I'm kind of scared, though, with all those attacks in the first slot. So, or, or, or we can do this. Yeah, we can potentially have Piccolo in the first slot. And then, yeah, leave the God Boys in this rotation. Hopefully get an additional super out of them. Um, and let them build their defense that way. Because, yeah, if there was a super in the first slot... Uh, that would be pretty bad. That'd be pretty bad. Of course, Piccolo's defense is just insane. I mean, this man just does not take damage. He does not take damage. And then, when you transform into Orange Piccolo, he literally takes no damage because he's, you know, in God mode at that point. So... I know it's old news at this point, but insane... Insane unit, guys. Um, I think the banner is still up until, well, the 23rd, right? So, if you guys don't have Piccolo, 
and you don't really want the Golden Frieza, I honestly skipped the banner. Um, if you guys are wondering why like there's no summoning video for the Golden Frieza, it's because I just really don't care about him. Uh, I mean, okay, that's not fair. I do care about him. I do obviously want LR Golden Frieza, but I don't want him enough to summon on that banner because the banner is horrible for me, even with the discounts. I'm not really that tempted to summon, so I'll get him when I get him. Uh, he'll be back, obviously, in the future. Uh, I'll buy him with coins, most likely, so yeah, if you guys are not really that into the, the Golden Frieza um, and you don't have Piccolo, it might still be worth a shot to, to go for him because there's no telling when he will be back with, uh, of course, Beast Gohan as well, but nobody really cares about Beast Gohan because he's not very good, but Piccolo... Piccolo is, is next level, man. All right. Um, let me think for a second. So obviously, Gohan has the type advantage here. Um, but I also want to build the God Boys, but I also want to keep Piccolo for the tanking. So I'm thinking... Okay, God Boys in the first slot for sure. I think I'm a float Piccolo for the time being. For the time being. I am going to pop the active skill for Beast Gohan here though, because he's gonna be hopefully putting out a good amount of damage. We'll see. And if not, then we still have this glorious animation. So maybe he'll hit like a wet noodle, but he's gonna look good doing it. Okay, he's gonna look very, very good <laughs> while doing you know, almost no damage. We'll see, we'll see. It's it's hit and miss, it's hit and miss sometimes, if, especially with a crit. Um, he does do some decent damage here. Yeah, okay, it's not nearly as much as I was hoping for, but you know, it is what it is. It is what it is. Uh... Okay, so we can't really afford to put these guys in the middle, where obviously we can get a lot more tech orbs um, there's just too many attacks there. I just don't trust it. So, yeah, um, I'm gonna give these to the God Boys. We'll give these to Gohan for a very nice, almost 24k super, and then we'll still give that 18k super to Piccolo. Okay, <laughs> and double supers will be really nice. Two supers here would make me very, very happy. So just do it. Oh, thank God, thank God. Okay, I was, <laughs> I, I kind of forgot that we uh, canceled the move, right? With the active skill. Um, so I was like super concerned about potentially taking a hit there, maybe a super, but um, that worked out really well. That worked out really well. Okay, Gohan should be able to tank this pretty well. I mean, we got two supers, we got the, Type advantage. Still a lot more damage than it should have been. A lot more damage than it should have been. But I guess I'll take it. I guess I'll take it. Okay. So here we have the blue Gogeta transformation. Is beautiful. Is beautiful. Um Let's see, um, hmm. Hey, you know what? I'm going to put Blue Gogeta there. Uh, we're gonna float the STR Piccolo because we want that damage from the, from, from, from the Gogeta in the next phase. Um, I think we'll be able to kill Gamma 2. Or, or uh, rather, Gamma 1 here. Oh. Ooh, okay. Uh-oh. I'm just slightly concerned now about the end of this rotation. Because, um... If STR Piccolo takes a super... I mean, he's got the guard, though. With the guard, it should be okay, right? Oh! We can't even take supers anymore. All right. <laughs> we 
We sealed him. Wait, is it a guaranteed seal? Is it is it a guaranteed seal for STR pick? It is a okay. Yeah, right. Um, forgot about that. Good to know. Good to know. And uh, let's see. You know what? We're gonna put Gohan there. It's not worth the risk. It's not worth the risk if there was. Oh shoot! Wait, no, I got. I got the seal off. What am I doing? I can be so dumb sometimes. <laughs> I can't even front, man. That was just a really dumb move. That was a really dumb move. Cause I was like, yo, what if we get supered? Yo, on, on the uh, uh, the God Boys. That that would be a bad time. And then I realized, wait a second. We can't get supered. Because we literally sealed him. Well, you know what? Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Hey, it's time to go full orange piccolo. Become invincible, and then we got a second orange piccolo coming up right after. So we got at least four turns of orange piccolo, possibly six, right up to six turns, and uh, we'll be we'll be good to go, man. We'll be good to go. I am feeling pretty good about this run, guys. Feeling pretty good about this run. Of course, we will go for the uh, AGL Gamma Two first. Because if we can take one of them out first, then we don't have to worry about taking as many hits, right? Um, I'm not sure how much HP he has, so we might not be able to, but I'd be surprised if this one orange piccolo transformation can't take him out. Ooh, he, has, he has a lot of HP. He has a lot of HP. Hopefully get a couple of additional supers here. That would be nice. Come on, no additional supers. All right. All right. Wait, is this my Piccolo or is it the friend? I think it's the friend Piccolo. I think it's the rainbow friend Piccolo. Oh, there we go. Okay, additional supers are coming through. That is great. All right, he's 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 half dead actually. So one more. Rotation here should do him in and then we still got my piccolo We might be able to finish off the uh, both gammas Yeah, we might be able to finish off both gammas With um the two back-to-back -back Piccolo rotations and if we don't we still got blue gogeta. We still got like the regular piccolos with their two supers. I still got um and my Weeses, which I don't really want to use. Uh, if I can no item this first try, that would be the best case scenario, right? But if we do revert, right, after the second Piccolo transformation, and I still haven't killed one of them, then I'm definitely going to pop a Weese, because I don't want to take the risk, man. It's just not worth it. It's just not worth it. We got this far, and I'm going to die to like a random super, because I was too, I don't know, proud <laughs> to use an item that's not happening man <laughs> that's not happening not this far into the video i'm not about to re-record this because i was being dumb i already made enough mistakes in this video we're not gonna make that mistake so here we go nice come on all right uh here's the hoping for a Third turn with this Piccolo transformation. Okay. Yes, let's go. Let's go. Okay. Um. Wow, we can't actually get a super. All right, so I'll just give this one orb to him, so we can get at least that 18 key super for the other Piccolo, and then just the 12 key for this one. Yeah, not the best board there, but at the very least, AGL uh, Gamma 2, I think it's definitely dead. He's gotta be. He's gotta be. Come on, crit. Ooh, nice. Additional super 2. Okay, he, he, he's definitely dead. He is most definitely Uh, actually, pretty close. 
It's gonna be close. Now he's dead. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so we at least killed one of the Gammas. That was the main goal. I was hoping we could, like, kill a Gamma and then still, um, you know, have a couple of attacks for the Gamma 1. But it doesn't matter. Because we're gonna pop the second Piccolo active skill here. Watch the animation again. And do it all over again. The only thing that's kind of bad about the orange piccolo transformation and like the subsequent attacks after is that it takes a while, man. It like, yeah, it, it, it takes quite some time to like get through all the orange piccolo attacks and all that stuff. So that can be a bit of a grind, but it's totally worth it. It's totally, totally worth it. Like this guy can basically solo most events in the game he honestly like by himself carries i mean is it fair to say most or is it more accurate to say all no i mean you can't say all because obviously there's events like um world tournament where he's not gonna be so good because he can't get the transformation uh and also it just takes way too long right to get through the attacks um and your know, chain battle and stuff like that. So okay, he's not the best in all events, but I would say 95% of the events, maybe even 98% of the events of the game, uh, he's gonna be essentially the MVP. Right? Uh if you guys are having trouble with like Cell Max or I don't know, like any of the infinite Dragon Ball history or um, legendary Goku event, legendary Vegeta event, even in Super Battle Road or Extreme Super Battle Road, where sometimes maybe you can't get the transformation. Uh, you know, the Power Awakened Piccolo, the non orange Piccolo, is still really, really good for defense and offense, actually. He hits quite hard for what he is. Um, yeah, he's just crazy, crazy impressive. I mean, you wonder why people consider him to be the best unit in the game, at least for now. At least for now. Of course, we have the anniversary coming up. There's a decent chance that the anniversary units will be better than Orange Piccolo. But there's also a chance that they're not, right? There's a chance that they might hit harder, but defensively aren't on par with Orange Piccolo. Which would, in my opinion at least, still keep him as the best unit in the game. Because defense is, is the most important thing. Like, you need damage, of course. You need damage to kill enemies, but... At a certain level of offense, which I think Piccolo definitely has, the defense is way more important, right? As long as he can put out a respectable amount of damage, and Piccolo can definitely put out a respectable amount of damage, the defense being as good as it is, is the main thing, man. Like, that that's, that's the main thing that makes these units, um, you know, as good as they are, so... Yeah, I wouldn't like be the most surprised if the anniversary LRs, the to Tokon Fest LRs, are not as good, not considered to be as good as Orange Piccolo. I still think they will actually be better, but but I'm just saying, if it happens, I wouldn't be shocked, right? I would be shocked if uh, you know, the consensus after using the anniversary units is that. Orange Piccolo is in fact still better. Okay, so with that said, uh, I'm going to pop the Whis, right? Because, like I said, not gonna be, you know, dying at this point. And let's see, uh, let's give these to Gogeta for the healing. And then we got a 12 key here with the Piccolo. So I doubt we'll be able to kill. Gamma 1 uh, dissertation, unless we get like three supers from Gogeta. Uh, but we'll come close. We'll come close. Okay, 7.8 mil. And obviously, with like no links activated, we got like one link activated here, or maybe two. Uh huh. Okay, 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 good dodge. Yeah, no, if there was an additional super, actually, we would have killed him for sure. One additional super would have done the job. 
All right, guys. Well, it looks like um, that's going to do it, I believe. I mean, I'm pretty sure the Gammas don't absorb any key blast super attacks, right? Because I made that mistake with the androids before. <laughs> like, I kept using the active skill or trying to use the active skill for these guys to finish things off without realizing that they absorbed the, the attack, right? So, I don't think the Gammas do, in which case it's over. I think. We'll see. Uh, music is about to end. It might actually be like perfect timing here for the end of this attack. You know what? I'm going to just replay the Gamma 2. There we go. And there you have it. There you have it. Blue Gogeta finishing things off. Can't think of a better conclusion to this video. Can't think of a better way to get it done. Uh, did we need the item? I don't think so. No, we did not need the item, but it made me feel a lot safer. You know, it was that insurance that I needed to feel comfortable. So I think it was worth it, but that very well could have been a no item run, right? So I'll probably do that just on my own time when I get a chance. But guys, um, that is going to do it for this video. Uh, Gamma 1 and Gamma 2 done. No issues, courtesy of the Orange Piccolo. And uh, I think I'll be able to do the Cell Max as well later today. So stay tuned, look out for that, and uh, more content coming your way. Hopefully for the anniversary, I'll be a lot less busy in my you know work and personal life. So uh, I'll try to bring you guys a lot more content for the anniversary, because obviously I want to be here for all that stuff. And uh, guys, once again, thank you for supporting. Thank you for watching. Um, you guys are amazing. And uh, I'll see you soon. As always, if you like today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel if you're new. Hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.